Hey everybody, it's Party Elite here with the most epic training montage of all time, except probably not actually because it isn't actually a montage because I'm actually going to be, you know, playing through it all and not doing quick cuts and chances are I will fail several times before things actually go in my favor. But I hope you throw on Eye of the Tiger or whatever your, uh, you know, gym song is and join me as I head towards town, I put some clothes on first and uh, head off to, well, learn how to fight better. So let's get all this equipment on. We're going to hit up the shops as well, sell some of the useless items that I'm carrying around on me and some of the useless items my horse is carrying as well. And then we shall become better fighters. Uh, let's move this to the horse because I do actually have a stolen one that I'd rather equip. And actually, let's get the stolen padded... I still don't know how to say this. Chaussée? Is it like... Is it French? That's what I would assume. Put those on so I can sell these off and I'll, I'll get these repaired shortly maybe when they're not so uh um you know hot as it were so we've got that going let's move this well we'll, we'll sell this rather uh we're gonna sell these as well so move these to the inventory i don't need so many hunter's gloves i'm gonna sell this gonna sell this i want to keep these uh let's we wear my skeleton waffen rock let's represent shall we so let's get this on uh what else have we got where is my male collar we've got this padded coif on already uh, a lot of stuff to sell, so the, the inventory is a little messy right now, but it will be cleaned up shortly. It'll be nice to get rid of some of these, uh, well, multiple items. I'm not going to just toss them into my trunk. I do have a sword in the trunk, but everything else I'm good to carry because I do need to sell. Sell, sell, sell. Do I wish to keep a linen shirt around? I've got my... I thought I had something to wear. Don't I have a top of... Uh, there we go. My my trusty green shirt. Worn by rich and poor alike. It's a, it's a linen shirt and it's green. Cool. All right. Off we go. I believe, actually, before we do go off, I just want to say, so this session, I will be doing a fair bit of training. But after we're done training, I will also head off uh, to complete some of these side quests. I was looking at these side quests and... Uh, what I think I'll do is complete Ruin, potentially this session, at the, you know, after we've done some training. Uh, go in and kill the camp leader all the way over here. I believe I have to cut off some ears. And I might also do a bird in the hand, which is, you know, finding those nightingales for the huntsman. And maybe he'll give me a discount for training or something. So, a couple of side quests. I'd like to try and complete this session as well. If they don't get completed this session, then I will try to complete them uh, early on next session. Because again, priority today is to get some training in and hopefully it will be interesting and action-packed. Now, on that note as well, I do have uh, some leveling to explain to you guys. I managed to get my main level up to 6, so I unlocked Burger, uh, which gives me plus 1 strength, agility, vitality, and speech vitality. English and speech uh, when I'm near you know cities and all and then first aid too which makes bandages more effective but also lets me use my healing skill in dialogue so I'm curious what that means uh, my agility no my strength also increased and so I added tight grip uh, which reduces how much stamina I'll lose the other option was boar that I was tempted by but I'll take that when uh, I'm actually wearing like plate and things like that then under combat, under defense, I gave myself firm grip, which uh, reduces, or rather, reduces enemy stamina when I block them with uh, with my shield. Uh, and then under horsemanship, I didn't get anything yet, because neither heavy-duty pony nor racehorse, and they cancel each other out, neither of those really appeal to me. So uh, I'm going to move on without that for, for now. Now you can see at the bottom left, that little icon over there, that's my Bergher perk being active. Where is my horse? Pebbles? Pebbles? Come here, boy. We gotta head to town. There you are. Come here. Alright, let's go. So we'll head off to town. I don't have any gloves on, so I'm gonna put some gloves on. Put these gloves on. No one can tell if they're stolen if I'm wearing them. What do you mean they're stolen? I'm wearing them. They're clearly mine. Logic. Let's head into town. We will, uh... Not so concerned about that bath anymore. I don't feel as disgusting anymore because uh, I guess all my blood got soaked into the sheets or the hay that composes my bed, that my bed is composed of. So we'll head into town. We will get some training in alchemy. We'll get some training in swordsmanship, and I think we'll do that first, actually. And we'll ideally get some training from the huntsman as well. Maybe we'll do a side quest before we do that, the third one. I want to, first of all, get to the stores here. Whoa, whoa, sorry and uh, sell some stuff before they close off for the night because, if I'm not mistaken, it's almost time for that. So let's get to the tailor. Oof, carrying so much crap. 
Oh, please be open. Please be open. Don't tell me you're closed. Good. Okay, where is he? There he is. God save you, Henry. Yes, and you. I gave him a tip last time, if I recall correctly, so hopefully... God, what happened to you? You look like you've been assaulted. Thanks? <laughs> Stock trade. I was just about to say, hopefully he'll be nicer to me. Now, this is really good for reduced visibility. Quilted coat makes a nice outer garment for city folk. Equipped with fancy buttons. Oh, that's... I'm not buying this stuff. I am selling a black and white hood. These underpants. I don't need them. Dark foot wraps and soles. Hmm. Low noise? No, they're pretty loud. Don't need them. Uh, I want to keep that. I don't need the red waffen rock. I've got my, my skeletons one, so might as well sell this. Make a little bit of money here. Right? Uh, hunter's gloves. I can sell both those and these. Let's not sell the stolen one just in case. We've got these leather gloves, but that's 6-6. Six, six, or is it 5-5-2 five, five, versus 5-5-2? Five, five, I think it's 6-6-2 six, six, versus... Hmm. The visibility is a lot lower, though. Charisma is nicer on the hunter's gloves. I guess the ladies like a good hunter. They're louder. Anyways, let's, let's sell the leather gloves. Leather jerkin. I don't think I need this bad boy. Helps my charisma, but... Uh, I wish it had a comparison of what you're currently wearing versus what you're, you've are you got selected. So let's sell the leather jerkin, the linen shirt I don't think I need, the long dark waffen rock. I want that for when I'm sneaking or moving around at night. Let's sell these padded chaussee or whatever, however you say that, patched hose. And I think I want to keep one of these, right? Right. So that should get us, oh wow, that's a lot of money coming our way. Jeez, what am I selling that's so very, very uh, expensive? These leather gloves. Oh, it's because they're at 100. I almost feel bad about getting rid of them. Durability 31, Charisma 2. I don't really need them. I can get rid of them, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, I can get rid of them. They must be like fancy leather gloves. Nope, sorry. Back. All right, let's, uh, let's haggle. That's a lot of money. I'll be able to use that to train a word about the price. everything. Naturally. Yes, naturally. So, how about you give me a lot more? 330. I think that's fair. It's a percentage, right? 330? Agree? That's better. Drop it a bit more and we'll call it a deal. I didn't drop it to begin with. 315. You're killing me, man. You're killing me. 325. Aye, that would do it. Excellent. That is a lot of money. I am quite happy about that, and it helps. I think the uh, the burger perk helps. So let's uh, let's do alchemy first. It's right here. It doesn't make sense running around back and forth. So let's learn some alchemy. Just the basics. Um, Good. Hey, Henry's come to see us. Henry has come to see you. God, you look terrible. Did someone attack you? Okay, I can't. Give me a second. I'm sorry I didn't take my morning bath. I should actually get into the habit of doing that, so I'm going to wash myself up a little bit <laughs> as much as I can. Yes, yes, yes. I'm aware I'm dirty. Okay. Am I clean to your liking now? God save you, Henry. Okay. Stock training. Would you alchemy. Teach me more about alchemy. Just some basics Certainly. for Certainly. I don't think I'm skilled enough anyway, so beginner. I'd like to practice the basics. All right. But it'll cost you. I'm well aware. We'll haggle that down for sure. I mean, I have money, but Isn't rich people get lot? rich by not spending money. I, I don't know if I actually believe that. I mean, if you want to save save money, a anyway, this is not a I'm not a life coach here. Fifty five. What about this? Is fair. I'd almost shake on that. Almost. almost. Okay. Ooh, that is very almost. Fifty six. Agreed. All right. Now listen up. Finally, I get to learn alchemy. Excellent. So excited for this. Um, what? Oh, do I just kind of like go do it? Where's the alchemy bench then? I want to practice it. I want to try it out. Do I have any recipes available to me? Is there one like out back or something or? Or is it like in the back of his store, perhaps? All right, let's 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 just go check. I didn't expect that to happen. I expected him to actually show me how to do it, and then... I don't think I can go back there. Can I go up here? Is that a private space? Are you going to stop me from going up here? 
This is not a private space. Interesting. This is also not a private space. Okay. Not gonna pick that lock. I don't need to rob from this man. Where is his alchemy bench? I see the icon for it. Hey! Henry's come to see us! Yes, yes, I've come to see you. Alright. It's throwing me off a little bit. Uh right there. So why can't I whoop? Took a dip in that pool, didn't I? Somewhere over here. Get up top over here. Oh, wow, that actually felt like it took some effort. Maybe it's in here. Ah, there we go. All right. Let's try some. Let's try some. Um, do I have... Okay, let's get some help here, because what the hell. Alchemy is a useful skill that transforms herbs and other ingredients into potions and remedies. In order to brew those, you need, an, you need a knowledge... You need a knowledge of alchemy, a recipe, an alchemist bench, and the necessary ingredients. In the lab, you will find on the right side of the bench an herb... Got an herbarium, which lists all the properties of herbs and all the recipes you have so far learned. Okay, you open it with E, and using Q, turn the pages to the recipe or plant description you want. It's always best to follow the recipe in the book. By holding E on the recipe, you can also set all the necessary ingredients straight into the alchemy bench. Ah, oh, that's cool. Wow, three pages. The degree of difficulty of the brewing itself varies, and each recipe requires a variable number of steps. The first step is always to pour the potion base, which you will find on the shelf on your left. Okay. Then you add the ingredients to the cauldron from the shelf on the right, okay? If the recipe demands it, you must take care to grind ingredients using the mortar and pestle. You can use the dish next to the mortar and pestle to prepare these ingredients. Okay. Next step is to brew the mixture on the prescribed flame, which is regulated by means of the bellows. Sometimes it's enough just to warm it on a low heat. Sometimes it has to be boiled, so you have to work the bellows until the mixture bubbles. Jesus, you must carefully time how long you brew the potion using the sand glass. Brewed potion can then be poured directly from the cauldron into the phial or passed to the distiller. Recipe steps must be adhered to precisely. If you deviate too much from them, the potion will fail. You lose all your ingredients, and the whole brewing process will have to be repeated. Wow. That is hefty. Um, so that's the recipe books. Save your schnapps. Well, there you go. You guys wanted to know what it looked like when you couldn't read? There you have it. I cannot read this. And that's actually really cool. Whoever drinks this... Oh, I can read this. Save your schnapps. Whoever drinks this potion shall save his game and his soul. And though he should succumb... I'm not going to do that, though. That's not fun. It's just scrambled letters. Can I... Right, well... Oh, can I actually not read any of this stuff? Oh, no, no, no. That's just like Latin or something. Well, okay, I can't actually do anything here then. I've got to learn some recipes. Let's exit that, and uh, we'll try and learn some recipes, I suppose. Not exactly how I expected that to go, but that's all right. Let's go play around with the sword, shall we? Oh! I think I took a little bit of damage from that, actually. All right, off we go. Talk to Captain Bernard in the training arena. That's something I'm good at. Well, first there's a quest here to be had, so let's or an activity giver here. So I feel so lazy getting on the horse just for that. Are you my activity giver, or is it in the church? Oh. God save Henry. Alex. I'm glad to see you. Glad to hear that. Um. Did you find out what actually happened? What do I know? The lords are at each other's throats. But it's us that has to suffer for it. Same as always. I reckon they was after the silver mines, wasn't they? Eh, yeah, sort of. Um... How are you coping? As well as we can, Henry. You can be glad Sir Radzik took you into his service. I hear you even go hunting with Lord Capon. Uh, I've been once. And I don't think it'll be happening again anytime <laughs> soon. Yeah, no. Ah, it's a shame. Because I was gonna ask a favor of you. I'm sure you know there's a lot of hungry mouths here, so I thought... You might be able to help. I'm no poacher, or I can't feed all the refugees. I'm no poacher. Uh, if I can get a hunting license... You mean you want me to bring you game from the woods? Are you mad? That's poaching. No, no, that's not what I meant. It's the townspeople here who have a taste for game. They want to live like the nobility, see? He speaks a in a very sketchy manner. Seen me already, to ask if we'd try our luck in the woods. They promised us supplies in exchange. 
flour, mm. lard, Interesting. eggs, and the like. But oh, lard is so tasty. We can't afford to take the risk of poaching. We're barely tolerated as it is. If one of ours got caught in the woods, they'd hang him from the nearest tree. But I was thinking, you, you're in Sir Radzik's garrison, and you go hunting with Sir Hans. You could help us. Hmm. I mean, maybe, but I want to make sure it's not horribly illegal. Oh, I care for these people because I know them. I used to live with them. They're they're my neighbors. I can't just go poaching. Okay, I'll, I'll say sure, why not? And I'll see if I can find a way to do it legally. And if I can't, then unless something happens that changes well, my character. I got away with brawling with Laura Capon. So I don't suppose they'll string me up for a few hairs. Great, Henry. No, that's really not what I meant, but okay. The local tailor was asking me about getting some hairs to put on a feast for a visiting merchant. All right, I'll bring you something. Thank you. <sighs> You'll be saving us from starvation. Wish I hadn't tossed all those hairs I already had. Um, I need to find out if I can actually get a... Uh... Here you are. Oh. I won't Sorry. see you go hungry. I, I want to see if I can actually get a uh, hunting license, which is a weird thing to think about in a game, but I don't feel comfortable poaching. Not yet, at least. Now let's go over to this quest giver, see what they've got for me, and then we can go and train. I, I'd i expect you'd be able to... Uh... Oh. Where are they? Somewhere upstairs, I take it? Alright, let's go up the stairs, see if we can't find them. Not gonna spend. I spent enough time roaming around in this building, so I'm not gonna spend too much time roaming around in this building again. But uh, yeah, poaching. Poaching is. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. Maybe something will change my mind down the line. But uh, oh, hello. Oh, it's the bailiff. God be with you, Henry. And with you, bailiff. You have a quest for me. Watch, I like end up in a private space following Welcome, him. Henry. No, hey! Thanks. Alright. Speak to me, please. What do you need? What do you need? You look like you've got a lot on your plate, Master Bailiff. Is work keeping you busy? Busy? I've had so many visitors, I wouldn't wonder if the door fell off its hinges. What's going on? I've been given the task of putting some of the Scarlet's refugees to work. It's not that there's a shortage of jobs, the problem's sharing them out fairly. I understand. Everyone has mouths to feed. The worst part is they won't tell you who really needs a job the most, but you might be able to help, Henry. How? They're like to be more honest with you, so you can find out who's in the most need. And you can decide for yourself who'll do what. Will you help? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'll help. If you need help, I'll do whatever I can. You're a godsend. Damn I'm right sure I am. it won't take too long. You know how the refugees are getting on, don't you? But ask around if you need to find out more. Okay. What kind of work are we talking about? Well, old Hagen is looking for a cook, and we need three, actually five, carriers. A cook and five water carriers? That sounds simple enough. Is there a problem? Yeah, it's out from oh, in the woods. <laughs> we need three water carriers, but the other two will have to carry, begging your pardon, shit. Or as the <laughs> Pope would say, excrement. Okay, I mean, that's fine. Uh, who can tell me more? Why does it trouble you so much? Um, yeah, why does it trouble you so much? We're friends, right? I care about him. How come that's such a cause for concern? For one thing, they're afraid of me. And I can't hmm. get a straight answer out of any of them. So how the hell am I supposed to make the right choice? That's fair. They're desperate. You can't blame them. I don't, but I might end up picking some good-for-nothing who'll just booze his wages away. That is a concern. Looking at you, Kunesh. Uh, who can tell me more? Is there anyone who can tell me more about it? Yes, the merchant Conrad Hagen is the one looking for a cook, so you can talk to him. And young Alex will know which of the Scarlet's folk are best suited to the job. I thought the point was that I would know who's best suited. Uh, tell me more about the cook. Can shop. you tell me anything more about the cook? You'll have to ask Hagen yourself. I couldn't get a straightforward answer out of him. Maybe he's changed his mind. Okay. What about the carriers? What do I need to know about the water carriers? We need three. Right now, some of the burgers' hands are doing the job. And they need to go all the way down to the river for water. Of course. Where else would they get it? <laughs> Gallows Hill. It's not an easy job, but someone has to do it. Okay. Well. 
And the other carriers. What can you tell me about the other uh, carriers? <laughs> it's dirty, but it's a job that needs to be done. There'll be more than enough work for them. Some places are overflowing. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. Why would anyone want the job? For money. If all else fails, I'll pay two groschen for every one I pay the water carrier. Exactly, yeah. So that That's how it works. Someone. All right, well, I'll definitely help him out. That's all I need to know. Because that's just helping my townspeople out. Then. But first things first, let's finally get some of that training going, shall we? All right. We've got plenty of cash. I know exactly what I want to spend it on. Training. Help me, people, oh, oh, please. Oh, 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 sorry. All right. So I just want to see how much the training costs first before I pay off uh, that last. Again, I'm so conflicted about it. And I've seen it in the comments below as well. It's kind of confusing that I want to pay off the... Uh, debt, air quote, that I have with that beggar from Skelets who I fought to take money, who I beat down to take, like, what, 25 Grushin. Uh, and then yet in the same breath, I'll basically say, yeah, I want to start doing more shady things. It just feels bad, I guess, that I did it to someone from my own town. That's just it. You know, if, if, if it was a different townsman, if it was someone local, if it was Lord Capon or whatever, I don't think I'd have an issue with it. These are my people, and so I feel pretty bad about uh, doing them in like that. So I, I think I will still pay off that one guy. There is that lady as well back up in Tomberg who I owe 25 but I doubt she's in a rush to get her money back. Uh, I'll pay her if and when I'm around those parts again. Where is the training arena? The scale of the map still throws me off consistently. Alright, let's take a right. For some reason, I expect it to take a lot longer to get from, like, point A to point B at any given time. Is this it? There we go. Where the hell is Captain Bernard? Oh, are you kidding me? Is the captain not here? Uh, okay, when will he get here is the question then. Or is he all the way back in uh, Neuhof? Because that would be unfortunate if he's just staying there. That would be quite unfortunate. All right, well, let's see if the Huntsman will at least train my archery skills. Let's go here. I think he's the one who trains archery. Sun's starting to go down, so it might be best to go home and sleep and come back in the morning. Ooh. Henry is here. He's not come to see you, though. Where is Captain Bernard? Want to make sure I don't miss him over here. I th is that his horse? Or am I mistaken? And I doubt I can ask around. Let's try asking this guy. See if there's any way to find out where he is. Hey. Can't even talk to him. Great. Well. Back we go. Over to the Huntsman. <laughs> it's just funny to me that I gain horsemanship for just riding around town. Uh, oh, is that him? No, but I can maintain my weapon, which is another thing that I should learn how to do. Training montage, right guys? All right. How do I use this thing? Uh, on the mercenary's bedfellow, because that's what I'll be using until I get this repaired. Um, yeah, this is much better. 45, 45, 2. This has more blunt damage. But let's, uh, let's help this thing out. Okay, actually, let's practice with this thing. It feels a bit more natural. If you want to maintain bladed weapons, you can save your repair kit, hone it on the ground. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, along the whole length of the blade, select which part using the mouse, left and right, okay. At the correct angle to the grindstone, if it's too shallow, the edge won't be sharp, and if it's too steep, you can dull the blade. Great. All right, so up and down, left and right. Now to keep it turning using spacebar. Correct pressure to make sure I hone it but it also depletes stamina, so scroll up and scroll down. Flying Sparks is good, Black Smoke is bad. Smooth and Shiny is good. Okay, so... Okay. Okay, I see. Um... No, 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 that's Black Smoke. Oh, right. 
I mean, this is definitely an interesting minigame. Takes me right back to, like, Skyrim, basically. No, 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 no. Whoa. That's uh, definitely black smoke. It's kind of hard to control the mouse for this. <laughs> I am destroying my sword here. Okay, come on. Come on. It's hard to see the black smoke as well. I mean, well, I guess that's all that's left to do. I don't know how smooth and shiny this count says, but... Alright, I think uh, that's... I've either ruined my sword or I fixed it. Oh. more to do over here, it seems like. I mean, I'm glad this is free. I'm glad I'm not paying to break my own sword. Jesus, that's a lot of sparking. I've all, I think I found that sweet spot. Oh, yeah. There it is. I hope the stamina exertion didn't mean I just couldn't see the black smoke. All right, that's, you know, it, 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 enough of that. I just ruined my sword. 98% <laughs> condition. I forget what it started as, but I'll, I'll check. You know, let's try the Bardiche real quickly. Um, check what it's at right now. I've been Bardiche is at condition zero. So I can't possibly damage it. Let's try the Bardiche. All right. There we go. Oh, cool. I got the blood off of it, I guess. Alright, nice angle. Let's get the edge there. There's a little bit of smoking happening. There we go. That's good. A little bit more pressure. Alright, alright. I kind of want to grindstone at home now. I think we're good. I think we're good... Let's see what that quick bit of work did for us. I see a little bit of sparking still, but... Alright, cool. So let's see what that actually did for us. Hey! New level in maintenance. 53%. I mean, I'll take it for now, sure. I, I don't really want to stay and, and do more of that right now. Maybe later. But that helped my maintenance out, which is nice. So let's go down, and the Huntsman is almost certainly closed at this point in time. He's up there. Just walk back up. Whoa, sorry. Nah. Should have come spoken to him first. I also need to hear the, uh... The, the, the cry of the Nightingale again, because I have completely forgotten it. Which is unfortunate. Alright, maybe we do head home. Call it a night. Don't necessarily want to go... Oh, after those bandits. What's the time? It is nine. The taverns might have just closed. I've got money. Let's see if I can't spend it. Let's see if I can't spend it. See, the tailor has left his shop. Tell me you're open. Who are you? You're the innkeep? I'm glad to see you. I'm glad to see you. Get me drunk. Oh. Do you know if there's anyone around here? Gossip boy, I guess. Mm. No one I can take off. Alright, fair enough. Give me beer. Liquid beer. Energy reduction. That's fine. I'm about to go and sleep. Might as well, you know. Get wasted. Oh, I can buy some savior save your schnapps. Ooh, it's expensive though. Beer can't be expensive. Yeah, beer is dirt cheap. 
I don't want to develop a de dependency, but uh, a little bit wouldn't hurt, right? After all, we completed that mission quite successfully just earlier today. So you know what? Let's uh, yeah, let's have some let's have some beer. Let's have. I mean, Henry Henry can knock back seven beers, right? That shouldn't be a problem. How much will that cost me? Let's have a word about the price. Yes, let's have a word about the price. All right, so. I'm willing to give you a little tip. Yeah, nice round number. Here, with a little something on top for a good measure. Well, no, thank you very much. You're welcome, buddy. All right, let's have... Let's have some, shall we? Just a little bit. And in fact, let's actually change what we're wearing if we're just walking back home. Don't need all of this. Um, let's keep something on, though. Okay. Again, if I'm trying to roleplay and actually be this character, then I should really try to roleplay and actually be this character. Keep the gloves on. You never know when it's chilly. Oh, I forgot to sell the ring. Well, that's a lot of money just waiting. There we go. That, that feels a lot comfier, I think. All right. Whoa, whoa. Oh, I forgot to drink. Ah, drinking in public isn't a problem these days. Can Henry knock back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? A new level in drinking. Oh. I'm a little stuffed, but otherwise all is good. Get the horse over here. Come on, Pebbles. Let's go home for the night, shall we? Tomorrow morning is a new day. We'll train with Captain Bernard then. Yeah, seven beers is nothing. Barely drunk. Literally, I'm, I'm barely drunk. Oh, looks like there's a quest giver here or something. Might as well speak to them. Might be this guy to my left right here. Don't, I don't feel like going to bed. I, this is like real life for me. I don't feel like going to bed. You in here? Are you asleep? Seems likely. Or are you this guy? No, you're not this guy. Someone in here is there to give me a quest. Is it you? Huh, you can actually sit on it. This is a private space, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, is this a private space? No. Hmm. Oh. God be with you, Henry. I think it's someone who's not available right now. Fair enough. It is late at night. I guess everyone's going to bed, so let's... I might as well just go to bed. Oh. Sorry. Don't set me on fire. I'm almost out of town, otherwise I'd uh, take out my torch as well. Yeah, excellent. I do like how that works. Oh, <laughs> that not so much. Blame that on the alcohol. Okay, we're good. Turn around here. Oh, We're gonna pretend that didn't happen. Gonna ride off into the night. You know what, I'm, I'm feeling in a celebratory mood. This is, this is good. Uh, I succeeded in that mission couple drinks. Too bad the, the bathhouse is closed. I might have gotten some extra services this time around. Oh, you know what? You know what? Thought I saw... I was wrong. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna wake up nice and early. We're gonna talk to Teresa, and then we're gonna go and hopefully train with Captain Bernard. Hopefully. Alright, almost home. Am I? Oh, hey, you can actually get off while... Oh, oh. I've been drinking for sure. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay, don't mind me. Oh, jeez. This is a familiar feeling. All right. <laughs> this is amazing. All right. Uh, let's head to bed. Please and thank you. We'll wake up shortly and uh, 
not even sitting straight. Whoa, no, 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 no. I meant to keep that on. There we go. No shoes for me. Gloves kind of weird. Oh my god, I am so god. Alright, let's sleep. Teresa, I can only take for a walk before noon because she's busy otherwise. So let's get a, a good night's sleep here. I'll wake up at 6 in the morning and see if we can get Teresa to go for a walk with us. Be nice and energized. We'll be a little hungry, so we'll grab a bite and then we should be good to go. I hope I can find Captain Bernard where, uh, like, at by the arena. It'll be annoying if I can't. But then I'll go to the Huntsman and maybe he can train me in uh, archery. I hope it's not just like it's been so far, where you just click and it's like, oh, you're better at it. I want to actually learn some, I don't know, techniques or stuff. All right. Good morning. Get those shoes on. Yes, I'm not drunk anymore. I also need to learn how to read, but that's all the way in Ujits, so I'll do that later. Um, my shoes. Hunting boots, there we go. Okay, everything else is fine. Let's, uh, get on up. And see if we can't find Teresa. There she is. Wake up. Uh, oh, what? No, go away. Okay. Guess I'll just go train. Everyone's so lazy here, jeez. Oh, fresh air, it's nice and bright outside. God. Alright. Let's head on over to the town. And train. I want to train and then I want to go kill some bandits. There's that nearby camp that I want to deal with, as it were. Okay. We'll be there quick. It's nice having a horse, even for these short distances. Nah, my night of, uh, it wasn't even debauchery. Seven beers, that's barely anything. Night of celebration is done. Let's get back to work here. I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission of vengeance. The only reason I'm doing these side quests is to get better. So that when, it, when the time comes, I'm actually able to, you know. What the hell is that? Alright. Alright. Over here, um, yeah, we're heading to Captain Bernard. There was a lot of smoke, though. Hope there's no fire or something. Or it's just chimneys, maybe. Okay, dodge these guys, dodge these guys. Captain Bernard. Hopefully he's there. I would like some training, please. Uh, again, I can go to the Huntsman instead, but it'd be nice if he's up there and I can get some training in melee, because that's really what I want to do here. Don't tell me he's by Neuhoff. That would be really frustrating. Okay, let's wait a little bit. Give it until 8.30. Just sitting on my horse. Hopefully not gonna get any sores or anything like that, but give him a couple hours. If he's not here by 8, then we'll go over to the Huntsman and get some training, or at least hear what those Nightingales sound like. All right, almost done. Almost done waiting. It's always it's always fun when people are on a schedule. Ah, there he is. Excellent. I just wish. Uh, I guess I'll have to learn their schedules. It's uh, it's like real life. Welcome, Henry. Hello, Captain Bernard. Captain B. Teach me how to day, be you. better. Teach me how to get good. Um, I would like to train. Ooh, master. I'd like to learn combos. Combos, Master Strikes, yes. The good stuff. Oh, and it doesn't even cost me money. Oh, I guess I have to wait until we're back here. Okay. True. Fair enough. Okay. Chain strikes. Oh wow! Jesus! See? I strike from overhead, then slash from the side, back swing, low down. So you expect me to strike from below, but then I turn the sword and strike you with the other side. Once more, defend. Okay. I'm pressing Q, now, man. You try. Strike from above, then from the right, then slash. 
Strikes have to follow quickly, one after the other. Okay. As soon as one lands, you start the next. You have to keep exactly to the sequence, otherwise it won't come off. Slash from above, slash from the right, slash from below. Above, oh. right, below. Okay. Above, mm. right, That's below. It. Nice. Right, okay. Mm. Above, right, mm. below. Mm. No. Above, mm. right, Good. and below. Again. Oh. Nice. Okay. Above, mm. right, Good. below. All right. Cool. You can learn lots of similar techniques with every weapon. Train and practice. Oh, is that it? Oh, I guess I couldn't do combos until just now, and I think I just leveled up my Warfare to a point where I can get Bailman, be able to unhorse opponents, oh, or faint. Oh, I have these already. Bloodletter, you have greater chance of drawing your opponent's blood, or Rusty Edge, the more damage your sword, the greater your chance of poisoning your opponent when you hit him, even without poison applied to your weapon. Wow, if you have poison on a damage weapon, the chance of emitting... Oh, that's cool. I need to think about these. I'm not going to apply one just yet, because we're just training for now. But before I go out, I definitely want to pick one of those. I like the idea of using a rusty blade, actually. Sounds devilish. Uh, okay, combos, master strikes. Repost with a sword. I've trained a bit with a sword, and I think I've got the hang of the basics. Can you teach me something new? You're a bit cocky, ain't you? All right, then. Come and show me what you can do. I'm ready. Oh boy. This again. Well, if anything, it'll help me level up my uh, warfare and all. Stand there, take your weapon, and fight. If you look like you know what you're doing, <laughs> Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, so what was our thing again? <laughs> oh. Thing was this. This. <laughs> this. Okay, no. Because there's the one that I learned, and there's the one that he showed me. Whoa, whoa. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Come at me, come at me. Nope. That. That. Alright, let's try some uh, feints here. Ow! <laughs> Just likes beating on some kids, doesn't he, this guy? Yeah! Alright, come on, let's try that again. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, let's do that again. Nope. The timing is the, uh... There we are. <laughs> I love how he stumbles back when he gets knocked on the head. Alright. I want to try... Oh. I wanted to look at, uh... The other... I thought it was a stab to the head, then coming from the side, and then coming from the bottom. I might be mistaken. There we are. Come on, how much more do I have to show you, buddy? Oof. Almost at him. Come on. Yeah, there we go. He's just letting me win that. I'm sure it'll be a lot harder when I'm actually fighting for real. Okay. Ow. Which more do I have to prove myself here? Come on. Try that again. It's certainly good practice, and I've reached a new level in sword. That will do. That wasn't at all bad. All right. Seems you're ready for the next lesson. Now, give it to me, right? Close attention. Teach you the most important thing. It's good to be able to attack. It's good to be able to fend off your opponent's blows. But the best is when you're able to do both at once. Master stroke is when you parry your opponent's blow, and strike him at the same time. Okay. How? <laughs> Go on. Oh, I see. I parry and strike in one move. There's no defense against this technique if it's executed well. Hmm. The thing is to time it right. Lock right into your opponent's strike and match your movement to his. One elegant technique and the fight is won. Try it. I'll attack slowly. You parry. Okay. All right. Oh. If you time your block right at the start of the window of opportunity for a perfect block, you'll execute a master strike with an automatic repost. As you increase your proficiency, nice. 
Interesting. Oh, that felt good. Okay, okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. So it's just a matter of getting it at the right time. Ooh, that was good. I really like how that feels, like just maneuvering him around and stuff. Oh, okay. I'm glad I'm doing this. Crap. I mean, half the fun in fighting is just not there until you actually do this training. Okay. Some more Master Strikes. Teach me uh, with an axe. Is I've it different? I've trained with an axe, and I think I'm pretty good with it. I don't think Can I'm good with it at all. Can you something new? What are you we'll saying? Test you. I hope it's about the same. Stand there. Take your weapon. Fight. You look like you know what you're doing. Okay, let's try. I don't think the same combo works. Oh, Jesus. I don't actually have any trick. Whoa. I don't have any training with an axe. And I don't think it's the same combo. Alright, let's try that again. Oh. It's good that I'm learning though, because evidently it's different between different equipment. Yeah, see I can block him, but I can't uh, get that perfect that repostin. Just yet, because I don't know it with the axe. Oh, that must have hurt. Okay, gain a new level in strength. This is good. I, uh, the training is buffing me quite a bit. Oh, ah, there we go. Ah, damn. New level in axe. Excellent. A lot of things to level up at the start of the next uh, session. Alright, alright. Come on. Come on, Captain B. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, nice. Ow, ow, ow. No, okay, stop showing me what you got, damn it. Come on. Oh. Ah, yeah. There we go. Okay, 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 okay. No. Nope. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. How does that feel? You like that? Am I not wearing my armor again? That's fine. Oh. The animations are really on point. Nice. Most of the time. That one wasn't so much. It's like every anytime I say something, it always goes in the opposite direction for me. Good. Damn right. Alright. Seems you're ready for the next lesson. Now, pay close attention. I'll teach you the most important thing. Oh, do I have to hear him to with a spiel attack. again? It's good to be able to fend off your opponent's blows. But the best is when you're able to do both at once. Master stroke is when you parry your opponent's blow mm -hmm. and strike him at the same time. Yep. I feel like I've heard that before. Ooh. Are you going to try now, or...? Oh. Okay. Attack slowly. You parry. All right. Go for it. Right. Ooh, nice. Okay, come at me. Right. And of course, this is the time when the animations aren't so perfect. <laughs> nice. Oh, good hit. Good hit. Another level in axe. Nice. Okay, no, don't, don't leave. Don't leave. Come on. I hate walking back and forth. Okay. Um. Teach me master strikes in with a mace. I've been swinging a mace quite a lot, and I've pretty much got the hang of it. Can you teach me some? I haven't been swinging a mace at all. Why are you lying? Well, mace is a lot better at uh, getting through armor and stuff as well. Okay, sounds good to me. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I I, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, ow, ow, that actually hurt. Maybe I should be wearing armor. I think a little nap won't fix, evidently, as I learned. Ow! What the hell, man? <laughs> Clocked me there. Oh, alright, alright. There we go. Ooh, nice. So I guess, uh... I guess maces are naturally, like, quick to repost. 
I'm wondering how you activate clinches, because I've seen them every once in a while, and there are uh, skills that let you level up clinches, but I, I wonder if it's a matter of activating them, or if it's a matter of coming from the same angle or something, or... Come on. Oh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I was just about to mention he's got like a bit of a bruise above his left eye there, or above his right eye, I should say. Um, and then he just knocked, like, a tooth out or something. Alright, come on. I like- Oh, ow, 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 ow! <laughs> oh my god, what a beatdown. Okay. Definitely my weakest weapon. Oh, gotcha. Level in defense, excellent. This is quite helpful. Oh, Jesus. They like knock me down here. Oh my god. <laughs> that did not go well. Let's uh let's try that again, shall we? Actually, hold on. No no no. If you're gonna wear your armor, then I'm gonna wear my armor. Buddy. Alright. Didn't realize that's that's how we were playing. Represent skeletons. Let's get our gloves on. We've got our boots already. Some mail on. Okay, okay. Knock him around a little bit. The bassinet. Cool. Let's do that again. Come on. I've been swinging that a was terrible. Quite a lot, and I've pretty much got the hang of it. Can you teach me some new tricks? We'll test you. All right. Take your weapon and fight. If you look like you know what you're doing, I'll teach you a trick or two. Right. We've got it this time. We've got him this time. There we go. Good hit. Good hit. Come on. Yeah. Ah, damn it. I guess he specializes in mace combat. <laughs> The thing that I find uh, most interesting, at least like when I'm playing, is uh, as my stamina drops, I just get a lot more tense, even though it's not actually doing any damage to me. Alright. Whoa! Nice, nice. That technique, though. Oh, what? Maybe it is coming in from the same angle. I don't know what happened there, but... Yeah, yeah, there we go. Got him on the ropes. Oh, yeah? Wasn't it all bad? Wasn't all bad. You had to call right. it off, buddy. Seems you're ready for the next lesson. Now, Do this. Pay close attention. I'll teach you the most important thing. It's good to be able to attack. And it's good to be able to fend off your opponent's blows. But the best is when you're able to do both at once. Master stroke is when you parry your opponent's blow. Yeah, and strike um, him at the same somehow time. aware of this. Okay. Eat it. Oh, oh, my hand. I'll attack slowly. You parry. Not there bad. it is. There we go. Ooh, leveled up my agility, my main level. This is excellent. Good. Nope. I actually missed time that I don't know why I said that was good. There we go. There we go. New level in mace. Two new levels in mace. Nice. Anything else for him to teach me? I don't know if there is anything else. Training combat with a real weapon. Training. Defense. Can you teach me how to defend myself better in combat? Certainly. Let's go with slightly advanced. I'm interested in more advanced techniques. All right, but it'll cost you. So this is the stuff that's expensive. 180. Isn't that quite a lot? That is quite a lot. We can bring that price down, I think. What'd I you think I'll meet this? him at 170. That's not enough. Ooh, he doesn't sound very happy. I mean, I said I'll meet him at 170, but maybe I'll meet him at 165 instead. How about it? Agreed. Now listen up. Okay, let's see if this is actually helpful. Oh, so that's all that does? I'm just paying for... Oh. I literally just paid to be leveled up by a step? That is not what I wanted. That does not feel cool at all. 
But hey, I'm level 6 now. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Leveled up my warfare already. Leveled up my sword a bit more. So now I can actually start practicing some of these uh, abilities. These sound interesting. I'll see which one I decide to go with after all. And then I've got my horsemanship leveled up as well, but I don't think... Yeah, I don't, this was from earlier. Cool. Cool stuff. Okay, well, let's go to the Huntsman now and see what he has to offer me. Or is it... Oh, it might just be just straight level up on uh, on the stat. Which I don't necessarily want to do. That doesn't sa that doesn't feel very cool. I'd like to actually go hunting or something. Let's see if the huntsman can arrange a uh, a hunting license for me. All right, slow down, Pebbles. Have a word with this chap. Hey, don't. Yeah, what's going on over there? Jesus Christ be praised. Yep, yeah, indeed. Uh, can you repeat those melodies? Training. I'd like you to show me some hunting tricks. Certainly. No, okay. Maybe another time. Well, I'll think it over. I'm not gonna... I, I don't feel good about just paying for a skill level. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe I'm overthinking it. But uh, let's hear those uh, melodies again. I need to go over those melodies again. I don't remember them too well. Fair enough. They aren't simple. So listen. Of course. Remember it now? <laughs> Jesus. No. I yes, see. I'll remember. So off you go, and let's hope you have better luck. The bird is due back soon. I shudder to think what he'll say if he finds out I oh. lost his prized possession. I actually didn't know that. So maybe we, uh, maybe we go ahead and do that then. Well, there's a couple of quests that uh, need doing. One that is in town, which is actually finding people for that, for those uh, job openings that are available. Maybe, uh, maybe we do that first, just because it's closer. Let's see, Aquarius is what it was called. So speak with Alex. Talk to the merchant Hagen. I think I should speak to Hagen first. So let's head to B. Um, okay. I'll stop tracking that. I mean, that's a nice way to get home, but... Uh, oh, I see. Let's stop tracking this and this, and we'll start tracking scaven or Aquarius. And I need to do Scavenger as well. Go back home and find the treasure under the dovecote. Um, bird in the hand. So let's go and find the red bee first. Okay, well, let's not bump into any of these guards here. Speak to Hagen or Hagen or however it's pronounced, and see what he has to say about the employees Welcome, he's looking Henry. for. And to you, is he in here? Oh, there's a private area. Maybe out front. God save you, Henry. This is the lawyer's office. <laughs> oh wait, that's Milan. I beat this guy's face down, and he still says "God save you." I hope I can remember uh, good everything. Stuff. Good day. Oh, you know that I see it. This here. That's it then. Here's your change. Thanks. A pleasure as always. I wasn't about to hey, interrupt. Henry's come to see you. Henry has come to see you. Oh, some mint, I see. Okay. What's oh this help you need? You look terrible. Did someone attack you? Yes, Captain Bernard did. The bailiff sent me. He said you're looking for a cook. That's right. I'm searching for a good cook. But I've said all that to our esteemed bailiff. Well, I offered the bailiff my help because I know the Scalitz folk. Ah, I see. Well, ask away then. Hopefully this will help me uh, narrow down the options. Do you have any particular requirements for the new cook? Well, it would be an advantage if she knew how to cook. Well, yes, but the bailiff said you had other conditions. Well, I want a woman who's capable of looking after the house when I'm away on business. I Young, see. nimble. What for? <laughs> okay. I want her to impress people with her food, <laughs> not her face. I understand. Yeah, Henry. Sorry. Come on, man. Come on. I also heard there are vacant carrier jobs. Yes, yes. I'm surprised it hasn't occurred to anyone sooner. It will certainly benefit the city if the burgers don't have to send their own Burger? servants. Can't be how you pronounce it. Benefit that. my people as well. 
Of course, of course. It goes without saying. Okay. Yeah, what about emptying latrines? I also heard that you need workers to carry, uh, to empty latrines. <laughs> it's not dignified to talk of such manners. That's not a concern for decent people. But I need to know. Enough. I won't have such talk in my home. You goddamn kidding me, man. Oh, decided to climb onto his table there. Don't mind me. All right, very well. Let's talk to, uh, who was it, Alex or whatever? Seems he's right across the street over here. He'll be able to give me a couple hints. All right, let's clean up. Evidently, I, I look like a horrible mess. Washed as much as I can. Man. Stick to your corner, right? How's it going? It's going okay. I'd like to ask about our former neighbors. There are jobs here for some of them, and I have to pick people. The bailiff told me about it. He still wants our people to do the knacker's job? Anything what for money, it? man. It will benefit everyone. Not everyone. There's not enough work for everyone, and no one wants to do the knacker's job. I mean, beggars can't be choosers, literally here. Yeah, better than nothing, isn't it? But having a job could save someone's life. Water Plus, carrying, it's like a sweatshop. Maybe. But if they have to do a job that's not fit for a decent person, only for the knacker or the executioner's servant? So you think there's no point in it? That it's better to beg than have a job, even if it is hauling shit? You forget that that's a job for the knacker's hired hand, not for displaced people. <sighs> when we return to Skelitz, they'll never be able to rid themselves of the stink. Really? So, do you know who's most in need of some coin and is fit for hard work? Everyone's in need of coin, but not everyone is fit for such work. But who should I talk to then? Where will I find them? I'll talk to them myself and send them to meet you in front of the rat house. So they'll all be in one place. Hmm. It'll take me a while, though. Fair enough. Um, what about a good cook? I'm also looking for a cook. Do you know of a good cook who's looking for work? Well, there's Agnes. I've heard she can cook better than anyone. Only... Well, what's the problem? Mm -hmm. Did something happen to her? No, it's just that I haven't seen her around here for ages. I believe oh. she's cooking for the local parish priest and living at the presbytery. So I don't think she's in need of work. Oh. Well, I could... Thanks. I could, okay. uh... Still acquire her for Ratai's needs. Okay. Very well. So that's all of that. And, uh... Let's just ask about... Agnes? Is that how her name was pronounced? Hop on over here. That guy's he knows his gossip, doesn't he? Where's the entrance? Okay. Uh I didn't mean to walk over graves there. Oops. Getting tired. Full armor is not necessary here. There we go. Let's get that green shirt on. Not wearing my scarf, but that's okay. Is that her? Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. And well, let the not about to interrupt her prayer. And may the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Yep, amen. Before she starts again. Um. Are you Agnes, who works at St. James? I am. At Echo. Or I did before those devils rolled in and burnt down scallets. Why'd you ask? I'm looking for a good cook and housekeeper, and everyone I asked sent me to you. Oh, I've been blessed by God. Asked one guy. <laughs> so it seems. Anyway, the local merchant wants someone who can cook food fit for nobility and take care of his household. Well, Father Francis was very fond of good food, but I can't just go serve someone else. Okay, He's an important person. I mean, I want to know why not. She must have a reason. Why not? Because I'm still Father Francis's housekeeper. But I heard he fled and isn't coming back. So if I kill Don't pay Father any Francis. attention. They're just rumors. I'm still his housekeeper. Hmm. He doesn't need a housekeeper anymore. Father Francis no longer needs a housekeeper. What? 
Don't tell me he's found a new one. Being a little uh, naive. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I She's being adamant otherwise. He's dead. No, he um, died. Mary, mother of God. What happened to him? Did they murder him? But he was gone before those godless animals came along. They couldn't have caught up with him. Afraid they did. They caught up to him and cut him down. A horse kicked him. Um, I'm going to go with speech. I'm not about to, like... Yeah. Well, they did catch up to him in the end. I heard they cut him down before he reached Sasau. And he died after a few days. Oh, Lord. That's horrible. Such a good man he was. What will I do without him? Come work for, uh... There's still Hagen. Hagen. You can have a good life in his service. You're probably right. Yeah, there we what go. What else would I do at my age? Very well. I'll go into his service. But right now, I have to go and pray for one departed soul. God That's bless. fair. Cool. Excellent. So I guess now I just have to wait for a certain time before Alex has been able to get everyone collected. Oh, what's all the way over here? Yeah, I guess I'm just waiting now. Great. Uh, then this is the other quest that I need to do, but I think uh, I'll go home, take a little nap, rest up, mainly because it's time, ladies and gentlemen, uh, to save. We are... Oh, it's coming out of nowhere, this boy. All right. We're at that hour mark, unfortunately. At least we got to get some training in with Captain Bernard, learned all the techniques, and now I just have to train by doing. I, I don't like the thought of buying skill points. That just doesn't feel right to me. Especially, I understand that it's an implied passage of time as you're doing stuff, but I don't know. That just doesn't feel right to me, paying sums of cash to level skills up. It's like microtransactions, except in-game. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe I'm just thinking too much about it, and it's totally worth doing. But I do like the idea of uh, learning by doing. And in fact, you know what? Before we actually call it a day, what time is it? Oh, it's before noon. And Teresa's always busy before noon, but it's not noon yet. So let's do one last thing, perhaps. Let's, uh... No. You know what? We've hit that hour. No idea what that'll take us to. So let's uh, let's take a little nap until 11. We'll wake up. It'll still be before noon. And then we can take her for a walk at the start of the next session before we head off uh, doing some side quests. So let's uh, get comfy here. Let's get our shoes off. Let's go to sleep just for an hour. And uh, we'll be up before noon so we can still take her out for a nice little walk. And uh, well, we'll see how that uh, walk ends. We'll also have maybe lunch before we go talk to her. It's right across from me, so that shouldn't be a problem. But, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. A couple slowish sessions there, but uh, looks like I'm going to head to the Rat House next time. Uh, yeah, head to the Rat House, take Teresa for a walk, head to the Rat House, and then maybe kill some bandits. Next session will be a very interesting one indeed. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, as always, it's been a pleasure. I bid you farewell, and cheers.